Hi, today I'm going to introduce precautions for the first flight of a helicopter. The debugging of software and hardware is already done in the tutorials before. And take a computer when you go out to fly it to adjust parameters and check whether the campus works well because the interference matters a lot for the campus. It is recommended to use a telemetry for parameter adjustment. And there are two steps for army. One, have the throttle down and right for more than four seconds. Two, after hearing the beeping sound to push the on-lock switch and motor will start to rotate. And besides, you need to know about your flight modes. Redlink 89 Pro supports flight mode display on the screen. Before taking off, please check the correction direction carefully. In stabilize mode, hold the helicopter and tilt it to see if the swash plate works well. If any problem, you can check the related tutorials before. And it is GPS flight mode now. Experienced pilots can use the stabilize mode to take it off and switch to at hold and GPS mode in turn to test it. Emergency. When the campus is interfered, the helicopter will fly in a certain direction. Please switch to stabilize mode as soon as possible. And this is a video shot with one hand. The helicopter flies smoothly and stably. And put the transmitter on the ground. Control the helicopter to spin and fly forward and backward with one hand. It is recommended to install Radiolink Crossflight on helicopter. And that's all about how to set Crossflight on helicopter. Thank mm -hmm. you.